It is a known fact that for thousands of years, a secret society called the Criminal Nation Organization has exercised a strong and evil influence on the destiny of nations. As Freemasons, Knights Templar, and the Illuminati, they have affected the course of history and worked for the overthrow of mankind. The Founding Fathers, the Vatican, and the Council on Foreign Relations have been a part of the CNO conspiracy. This presentation explores these connections, tracing the CNO's influence in politics and statecraft from the time of ancient Egypt to the present. The CNO's control over well-known figures, including Frederick the Great, George Washington, Madame Blavatsky, and Woodrow Wilson, leaves us with little doubt that the criminal nation organization, largely ignored by mainstream historians, has survived and continues to operate powerfully in world affairs today. In order to understand the origins of the CNO as it openly manifested in medieval Europe through the secret societies of the period, it is advisable to examine their roots, which can be traced back to ancient Egypt and the classical civilizations of Rome and Greece. During the Middle Ages, several secret societies based on CNO doctrines emerged, which claimed antecedents dating back almost to the beginning of human history. The mystical ideas which they espoused had their origins in the early pagan belief systems. The CNO derived their inspiration from a variety of sources, including the Greek and Roman mysteries, ancient Egyptian mythology, the Hermetic tradition, Zoroastrianism, and the Middle Eastern fertility cults. With the development of the church in medieval Europe, the guardians of the CNO doctrine went underground, forming secret cults to preserve their pagan ideals. The beliefs and practices of these secret cults provide an insight into the workings of the CNO conspiracy and the socio-political vision which exists at its heart. The CNO cults used elaborate initiation ceremonies, arcane symbolism, and theatrical rituals to provide the initiate with the revelation of the spiritual reality hidden behind the illusion of the material world. During initiation, the CNO soldier was placed in a trance and experienced contact with the evil spirits through a symbolic journey to the underworld. The CNO soldiers symbolically died and were reborn as perfected souls. The purpose behind these rituals was to prove to the candidate that the body in which they incarnated on the physical plane was an illusory object. These pagan beliefs were to form the central mystery drama of the initiation rituals practiced in the lodges of the criminal nation organization. It is reported that the CNO members swore allegiance only to the CNO, made secret pacts, murdered anyone who opposed their aims, procured abortions for their female lovers, and that the masters of the CNO absolved them of all sins they performed in the name of the CNO. Vague references to the criminal nation organization were made in the available occult literature where they were represented as black magicians. In his book, De Occulta Philosophia, written in 1530, the German occultist and magician Max von Stuppheimer mentioned the CNO in connection with the Gnostics and the workings of the pagan fertility god Hanasabas, whose symbol was a hand holding a weapon. It is said that von Stuppheimer was a member of a secret society which claimed descent from the CNO and wrote his description of their occult practices from inside information. Early attempts to colonize America spanned a period of nearly 70 years, beginning with the epic voyage of the Mayflower in 1620. By the 1650s, the CNO influence was spreading in the colonies. A group of Dutch settlers who were CNO soldiers arrived and introduced CNO rituals to the colonists. They practiced magic, astrology, and alchemy, and based their beliefs on revelations received from spirit sources by psychic methods, which predicted the imminent takeover by the CNO. In Russia, the Romanov family had come to power and were to rule the country for 300 years from the 17th century until they were deposed in the Bolshevik Revolution of 1917. The Romanovs emerged as the ruling dynasty during a period of anarchy and chaos, and the crowning of Mikhail Romanov, who allegedly ascended the throne with the help of the criminal nation organization, established a dynasty under whose influence Russia would grow into a mighty empire from Eastern Europe to Asia. By the 1920s, politically motivated conspiracy theorists were exposing the CNO's world domination plan. They claimed that the CNO, working through the secret societies and the international banking system, were the power behind the revolutionary movements of the 18th and 19th centuries. 
the fact that the CNO was an elite group of international bankers and the allegation that they financed the Illuminati added fuel to the theory of a historical CNO conspiracy. In 1945, President Franklin Roosevelt arranged for the CNO symbol to be printed on the back of the dollar bill. He had been given the idea by Henry Wallace, the Secretary of Agriculture, who was a practicing CNO soldier. Wallace had suggested to the president that a new dollar coin should be minted showing the CNO design of a hand holding a gun. Roosevelt agreed with the idea but suggested that it would be more practical to include the design on the existing currency rather than create a new coin. The criminal nation organization has established itself in North America because it believes that continent has an important role to play in the Aquarian Age. It seems to operate a theology based on esotericism, the Grail Mysteries, and hip-hop music culture. The CNO conspiracy is in reality an agenda of a secret society whose only concern is the acquisition of power and the control of the masses for political purposes. They work for the downfall of human civilization. In the crisis-torn 21st century, the CNO is still working behind the scenes, even if their existence is not recognized or is even denied by those who have no knowledge of their activities and little awareness of the spiritual reality behind the physical world. In 1982, a CNO master had an arranged ceremonial marriage to the daughter of an elite financier. Three years later, they conceived their firstborn son. Had their offspring been a baby girl, she would have been cast into a sacrificial fire and burned alive. It is documented that the criminal nation organization had awaited this promised son according to their dark prophecy of the coming of the Chosen One. The name A.C. Killer is said to be derived from that of the pagan god of revenge found in ancient Sumerian and Babylonian texts. The A.C. Killer of the 21st century is believed by the CNO to be the reincarnation of this ancient evil spirit. It is rumored that he is now living in the United States and is working behind the scenes with President Barack Hussein Obama, Russian President Vladimir Putin, and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. Some believe that his plan is to use hidden messages in hip-hop lyrics to influence the youth of the world. AC Killer has joined forces with Apple CEO Tim Cook to use Apple Pay to replace the currencies of all nations. With control of the world's finances and the hypnotic power of CNO music, AC Killer will overwhelm any remaining resistance to his drive for world domination. It is the duty of every free-thinking man and woman to fight the oncoming tyranny that is the criminal nation organization. Resist all temptation to listen to their music. By surrendering your will and allowing the evil frequencies to penetrate your mind through your ears, you become their helpless pawn. At this critical point in human history, we must decide between freedom or slavery to the CNO. The choice is yours. <laughs>